Today, I'd like to draw the attention of the House around the issue of gender inequality. I'd like to discuss possible actions that could promote gender equality in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Gender equality is fundamental because it ensures all citizens have a right to fair treatment and opportunity. Ultimately, you should be judged based on your actual ability. Belonging to any gender should always be empowering. Gender should never act as a hurdle in someone's path to success. Research from the Ministry of Women in New Zealand states that 80% of the gender pay gap comes down to what research calls unexplained factors. This category includes conscious and unconscious bias, discrimination, and difference in gender choices and behaviour. To effectively take action against gender inequality, we need more clarity and open conversations around the unexplained factors causing it. More research and data needs to be collated. I think the key to addressing workplace discrimination is transparency. To achieve the delicate balance between transparency and privacy, it would be better if all organisations had a transparent salary structure of all the roles in place. Suppose I was a teacher, I would not expect X amount of money for my job responsibility. And then if I was a teacher with the same role, but I ran a school sports team, I would not expect X plus Y amount of money for my two roles. This is a really clear way to outline salary expectation from both the employee and employer. Pay discrimination will be recognised more easily and therefore called out more often. It will encourage more open and fair conversations. Many organisations have already implemented this, but making it compulsory will be highly beneficial. Alongside this, increasing the awareness of employee rights in our workplace will be highly helpful. Implementing short programmes in our workplace will ensure employees are educated and know what rights they are entitled to as a person. Thank you.